so today I'm talking about a P0601 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0601 code? Well, it's an internal control module, memory checksum, error. And so what does this mean? Well, basically, modern vehicles have computers that control everything. And the main computer inside the vehicle, which can have different names, it can be called the powertrain control module, the engine control module, the engine control unit. But whatever the manufacturer calls it, this computer is having a problem. It's having some kind of internal issue with the memory. And so it's sending out this P0601 code, and it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what are some possible causes of a P0601 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the battery. If the battery's not holding the charge correctly, then the computers are not going to be able to get the right power supply going to them, and that's going to cause problems. So the first thing to go and do is go check out the battery, be sure it's holding the charge. Also be sure to check all your connections, be sure those are all good. If any of these connections are bad, or if there's a lot of corrosion on them or anything like this, and they're not making good contact, then that's going to cause problems. So the first thing to go and do, be sure the battery's good, and be sure all your connections look like they're good. The next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of charging system problem. And this is mainly going to have to do with the alternator. The alternator is what keeps the battery charged. And if it's not putting out the right voltage, if it's too low or if it's too high, then that's going to cause problems. Some newer vehicles also have a battery sensor that'll be located up around the battery somewhere, usually on the terminal or something like that. And if that sensor goes bad, that can also affect the charging system. But most vehicles don't have that battery sensor. If yours does, keep in mind that can cause problems if it goes bad. If you have a multimeter, there's a real quick way to go and test the alternator output and be sure that it's charging. And basically, you connect the multimeter to the battery terminals and you start up the engine and you check to see what the voltage is. And for most vehicles, the alternator output will be between 13.5 and 14.5 volts. You can look up what your alternator is supposed to be outputting and then see if it matches that. But usually, if it falls between 13.5 and 14.5 volts when the engine's running, then it means it's good. One thing to keep in mind is that some newer vehicles, they have what's called a smart alternator. So the voltage output can vary a little bit. It'll be controlled by the computer. But by far, most vehicles, if they're putting out 13 and a half into 14 and a half volts, then it means it's good. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of charging system problem. And the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of wiring issue or possibly a blown fuse. And basically, if any of these wires, if there's any kind of open, a short, if one of these plugs, they're not plugged all the way in, they're not making good contact, then that's going to cause problems. So you can't go check out your wires and be sure everything looks like it's plugged in good, that there's no issues going on there. You can even get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle and go through and check all the wiring and be sure that it's good. Also be sure to check for any blown fuses. Basically check any computer related fuses, anything labeled like PCM, ECM, ECU, anything that's going to be computer related. Because if there's a blown fuse going to the computer, then that's going to cause problems. And the next thing on the list is going to be that there's a bad computer, and this is going to be like a bad powertrain control module, or an engine control module, or an engine control unit, something along those lines. But basically, it's possible that there's some kind of issue going on with the computer itself. It just failed. It just needs to be replaced. One thing to mention is that if you do think you have a bad computer, is if you go up around it and check to see if you smell a burnt smell. Because sometimes when these computers go bad, they get burnt components on the board, and there'll be like a burnt smell around them. This doesn't happen every time. These computers can fail and you don't smell no burnt smell. There won't be no burnt components on the board. But if you can't smell a burnt smell around it, then there might be some kind of issue going on with that computer. A lot of people, they do smell a burnt smell. They'll open them up and they'll examine the components on the board and check to see if they see any burnt spots on it. Because if there is a burnt spot on it, then you know that computer's bad and you know it needs to be replaced. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0601 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.